In the world of science, this is the establishment. The Royal Institution is the home of the UK science community, but the person I'm meeting is anything but traditional. 28-year-old John Chase is on a mission to spread the scientific word in his own unique style. I think it's important for people to, to know about science. Science has made us understand so much about ourselves that we never knew before. And where do you go to communicate this science? I actually go to schools, libraries, museums, and sometimes mm. to kids. Of course, you don't just communicate in normal words, you rap. <laughs> yeah, some of, this. some of the biggest questions that's ever been asked. Do you know where life's going? Can you tell where it starts? We've been on Earth for many years and we're still producing answers. As time passes, collective knowledge advances. Uh, is there an old school that says, you know, this rap rubbish is, is rubbish? We, yeah. we want to lecture, young man. <laughs> to be honest, the scientist believes in experimentation and observation, yeah, and if he judges all rap based on what he's seen on the TV, yeah. He would be a bit ignorant. The origin of life is hotly debated. Some say evolved, some say created. Choice is up to you, it just depends on how you weigh it. Way back when you was a kid, mm -hmm. what got you interested in science? I was always big on little programs about space and science. Uh, uh. So every time I read the Bible, and I was like, Mum, how come when this program it's saying this? But when I go to church, they're telling me this. And how can people be around this long when these questions didn't have answers? So those questions, I think they even inspired the first, a lot of first scientists, you know, they were looking yes. for God. Um, and in, in their search for God, they, they ended up coming up with techniques to work what is true and what isn't true. Some of the most inquisitive minds has come from there, so. I think most people, but certainly most young people, think that science is done by old white men in old white coats talking about old white things. Yeah, yeah. How do you fit into this world, or do you fit in? I, I fit in with a big hammer <laughs> to, to kind of crack the perceptions. So we find a life, not intelligence, and genetic inheritance, but alien communication. How would we know? Let's just take a young Benjamin Zephaniah. Mm -hmm. Left school at 13, mm. got into the police, was mm. a bit of a Jack the Lad, and, but then found that I had a love for science. Could somebody like me get back on the educational path to, you know, to learn about science, even if I've messed up a little bit? Yeah, of course, Every, everyone can. You know? it's, it's just feeling what you feel comfortable doing and, and what you enjoy to. Well, you start with your, with your interests. You start with what you're into. Because no matter what, I realise people will do what they're into regardless of what anyone else says. Mm. So if I want to look at the stars, I've got to go out there and look at them. And if I will need a telescope, get one. If I can't afford one, find a society where they do it. And don't be afraid for people to tell you you shouldn't do it, you can't. You just gotta, you just gotta stay strong to your dreams, you know, and hopefully there'll be people who's kind enough to help you. And you normally find them at least once in your life, but you have to keep your eyes open for them. And in your personal journey, have you had any major struggles, obstacles to overcome? Um, society can hold you back, yes. But I never let anything be an excuse for me. Only, it's only me that has to make the difference. So if you really want to do it, don't believe you can't do it. Believe you can do it, you just got to find a way to do it. Thank you very much.